Do you know our generation? We love quoting scriptures. When we stand, we begin to talk about the mysteries of the angelic realm. When we finish talking about the mysteries of the angelic realm, we begin to talk about the mystery of creation. The intangible elements that were coupled together before the earth was made to suspend in space. When we finish coupling that, we now enter the dynamics of motion. How grace flows. We show people that there are some grace that flow vertical, there are some grace that flow horizontal. This is what you do in order to navigate the vertical grace. When we finish talking all of that, then time comes for manifestation. You need 10,000 Naira to rent an auditorium. The mystery of the foundation of the earth will not be sufficient to provide 10,000 Naira. You now start wondering. Or somebody is dying in your family. And as people are dying, what you need is a commandment, but authority is not there to, to, to effect the change. Meanwhile, you understand the multilinear expressions and motions of grace. You can explain grace from vertical to horizontal dimension. Now, people are dying. They need grace. The person will stand and begin to talk about the, the operations of the healing anointing. He will explain what you need to do in order to put grace on handkerchief. He will explain what you need to do in order to blow grace through the wind. When you talk, the reason people are healed is because when you talk, something happens that your word bond with the air. And as the air travels in the direction of that person, the grace touches the person. You know all the intelligence. This person has cancer. And then revelation is tall, but manifestation is dwarfed. Because we talk, we don't walk. Meanwhile, a father will just come and say, God loves us. Can you imagine what God did? He gave his son to die. As he's talking, you are sleeping. You say, what kind of gospel is this guy? What is he saying? When he finishes, he now says, Father, thank you for your love. All the cancers go. Uh, if you are deaf, yeah, open. I open. And then he says, if you have a testimony, half of the church will now stand up. You now start repenting. What did he say that this is happening? They have authority. That man talking, maybe for 30 years, he has given tight, he has never missed. Even when there was no food to eat. And so God is not seeing the tight. God is seeing the loyalty. God is seeing the consistency. And as far as spiritual equation is concerned, that's maturity. You can argue the doctrine of tithing, but he has loyalty and consistency with God because he has not broken tight. So what God is reading is different from what you are reading. Power. Power. If we must have power, there are things that must become consistent in our lives. Ask yourself, in the last 12 months, how many sacrificial things have you done? From your prayer to every other thing you have done, it has always been you. You, you, you. And you are hoping that God will give you power over the nations so that you will buy the nations as your property. All your prayer is me, I, and my family. And so how do you think God will give you the nation? And somebody else who doesn't pray half as you pray, but his altar is littered. People who can't pay school fees, he pays for them. People who can't eat, he gives. He doesn't need the intelligence that you have, but the results he will command will be many, many times greater than what you can command. I've seen people come out of the pit because of sacrifice. I've seen ladies marry because of sacrifice. I've seen people cured of terminal infirmities because of sacrifice. Nobody laid hands on them. But they came to a point where they said, no. Every child that can't pay school fees on this street, I will pay for that person. It's not even in church they did it. It's in their street. And they put everybody back to school. And God said, ah, if there's somebody here who can put people back to school, why are you coming to heaven? Better remain on earth. Because we need many more children in school. There was no prayer. But sacrifice was a sufficient transaction. You want to wield power? You need sacrifice. You need covenant. And you need quick and prompt obedience. When God speaks, it's not everything your mind can rationalize. Every time you talk, remember that it's a conversation between a finite being and an infinite being. Every time you commune with God, don't forget that. A finite being interacting with what? An infinite being. There are not many things you can understand. That's why faith becomes the basis of relationship. 
so that even the ones who can't understand they obey and this is why the bible said to obey is better than sacrifice and to hack it than the fat of rams first samuel 15 22 the reason is simple if you can't obey even the sacrifice you will not do 